Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another gal tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create these reactive audio visualizations inside of Adobe After Effects. So this effect can be achieved with any type of sound file, such as a voice highlight from your podcast or a musical track. There are so many cool ways to customize the design, style, and movement of your audio spectrums, and my hope is that you'll walk away from this tutorial feeling more creative and confident about making your own audio spectrum effects. So after the tutorial, I'd love to see what you guys create. Please send your designs to me on Instagram. My handle is at premier underscore gal. And before we jump in, I first want to thank Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you more about them later on, but using my link below, there's a special coupon that will get you 70% off your first month to access millions of stock video clips, music, premiere templates, including some really cool advanced audio visualization templates. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. First, you'll want to import the avatar or logo you are using and the audio sample into After Effects just by dragging and dropping it into the project panel. First, click on the new comp icon. Since I'll be making this for my Instagram feed, I recommend using a four to five aspect ratio, which is 800 by 1000 pixels. If you're wondering what pixel resolution to use for a specific platform, I've put my recommendations in my description box below. The other important part here with the setup is the comps duration. You should make the duration as long as the audio clip that you're using. So I'll enter the duration of my audio clip, but after you make your comp, you can always click on the hamburger menu here next to the comp and go back to the settings to change the duration. So now that we have our composition, let's drag my avatar into the composition and let's resize it to the size that I want. I think that looks great. Next, let's drag our audio clip from the project panel into the composition and we'll get to that in a bit. Next, let's make a background layer. You can certainly place a video or a photo behind the avatar or logo layer here in the comp, but you can also make a color background. I'm going to go to layer, new, solid and choose a deep royal blue. And then I'm going to add a cool lighting change. So let's go to effects and presets and search for vignette lighting and then double click to apply it. And immediately you will then see that there's this really cool clean vignette around the background, which looks really awesome. Now, if you already have a circular photo, you can skip this next step. But if you need to make it circular for this effect, simply select the layer in the composition, then go up to click on the shape icon here and select the ellipsis shape tool. And now you can click over the photo here and drag holding shift to make a perfect circle. I like to move it to the exact place simply by using the arrow keys on my keyboard. So now that the image and the background is in place, we need to begin making our audio react effect. The first step is to make a solid layer. Go to layer, new, solid, and it can be any color because the color will not be visible anyway after we apply the mask and the audio spectrum effect. And now using the solid layer, we're gonna draw the shape of the mask. In this case, we're going to draw a larger circle around the avatar, but you can draw any shape that you want. It can be a triangle or a star, and that can be the path from which your audio visualization will animate from. So let's first reduce the opacity of this solid layer so we can see the avatar beneath it. To do that, hit T on your keyboard for transparency and let's drop it down so we can see the avatar behind the solid. And now with the solid layer selected, go back up to the ellipsis tool and we're going to draw a circular mask again, but this time just a bit bigger than the profile's edges. And as we toggle down from the solid, we're also going to wanna to change the blend mode for the mask to none. Now it's time to apply the effect to our mask path. We're gonna to go to effects and presets and we're going to search for audio spectrum. You'll also see that there's an audio waveform effect, but spectrum has more customization options, which is why I prefer using it. So double click to apply the audio spectrum to the solid layer. And now as we zoom in, you can see there's a default pink line. From here, we need to go to the effect controls. First, we need to select an audio layer from which the spectrum effect will play from. So we're going to select the audio sample clip that we put in our composition. And next, we can change the path 
to be the mask path that we just drew on the solid layer. And now you can see that the dots are in a circular path. So now that that is done, now we're going to adjust the frequency levels you want displayed. Now all audio tracks will be different, but since we're working with voice, it's fine to make it from around 50 to 2000 Hertz. You just want as much movement as possible. So you can definitely play around with these numbers until you get the right movement in your line. Now we can further customize. We can change the frequency bands. This is how many lines there are. So you can play around with this value until you get the right number that you want for your look. And the next valuable parameter parameter that is worth discussing is the maximum height. This determines how high these bars will go. Next is the thickness. This is how thick these frequency lines will be. So play around with it. You don't want it to be too thick or they will bleed too much together. So if you want a thicker look, you'll want to keep the frequency bands down. And if you want more bands, then you'll want to reduce the thickness probably closer to two. Again, just play around with it until you get the look that you like. Next is the softness. So if you crank this up all the way to 100%, it'll make it more fuzzy and less definite lines. But in this case, I'll just leave the softness at zero. Next for the colors, you can make it any combination that you want. You can choose both a custom inside and outside color. So the really cool part here is the hue interpolation. So if you're looking to create a rainbow spectrum, this is where you make it happen. If you increase this number, the frequencies displayed actually rotate around the color spectrum space. So the higher the number, the more of the color spectrum that you'll see. And then if you want more colors, you can just drag to the right to increase the hue interpolation degree more and more, and it will continue to show more color. And then the color spectrums begin to repeat as you see here in the composition. So play around with what colors you like, but for me, I'm going to change the inside and outside color to white. And next it's time to choose between what style or display of the spectrum that you want. The default here is the digital, but if you wanna to switch to analog, you'll see as I scrub through, it turns into this jaggedy moving line, which is pretty cool. Or you can choose dots, which are just a bunch of moving dots to the audio. For this, I'm going to keep it as a digital display. Next is the side option. So if you choose side A, it will animate inwards towards the inside of the circle path. And if it's B, it'll go outside and A and B is on both sides. So for this, I'm just going to choose B. Again, you can choose whatever combination you like, but the reason I chose B here is I'm actually going to duplicate the solid and make another audio spectrum, but on side A this time. So rather than creating it from scratch, we're just gonna go down to the composition, hit Command D on a Mac to duplicate it, or Control D on a PC. Now there's a duplicate here, but first let's go ahead and rescale this particular spectrum down. So hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale and let's rescale this first ring to be inside of our first audio spectrum. And next, all we need to do is change this to a different style to add some more dynamism. I'm going to choose analog, but of course you could try out the dots too. And I'm going to make the side on option A. So now we have an outside audio spectrum on side B, and on the inside we have an analog spectrum. So I encourage you to play around with the different looks and even make more duplicate copies of the waveform to have some fun. Now the next step is optional, but if you want the avatar in the waveform to actually bounce and react to the music, this is what I'm going to show you next. So simply right click on the audio file and go to keyframe assistant and select convert audio to keyframes. This will create an audio amplitude layer. Now I'm going to toggle down under the effects here. And since this is stereo, we only need both channels. So I'm just going to delete the right and left channels. Now keeping this layer open, we need to select the logo and the two solids together. Now that they're all selected by holding shift, what we can do is right click on all of them to pre-compose it to make it one layer. So now it's one layer and we can hit S on our keyboard to show the scale parameters. And we can hold the option key on a Mac or the alt key if you're on a PC and you can click on the stopwatch while you're holding that key and this will activate expressions. And now you're gonna take the little swirly icon here, click and drag it to pick whip it to the slider here. And what this did is it now connected the scale of this pre-comp to the animation that occurs in the audio amplitude. 
and you'll see that the scale of the pre-comp needs to be fixed. This is where we go in and simply edit the expression. We need to add plus left bracket 100 comma 100 and right bracket and this will bring it back to its normal scale at 100%. And now we have our final effect. As for the other types of advanced visualizers, I encourage you to explore all the different templates available in Envato Elements. There's pretty much a template for anything you need. So just simply download the template and you can customize it, drop in your audio file and customize the colors to your brand and then you're done. And you can try out as many templates as you like because you can get unlimited downloads with Envato. And once again, thanks to Envato for sponsoring, you can get 70% off your first month with my link below. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and follow me on Instagram for some more fun creative updates. See you all next time. Bye.